what was it like with uh, Todd Rundgren in the studio? Well, working with Todd was, you know, very relaxed. He, he, was, he did the engineering himself as well as the production. Um, you know, he would just kind of sit there and let us do our thing and work our way through all of the arrangements. And, you know, every now and then he'd drop in a suggestion. His real thing was the sound. I mean, he just had a way of turning knobs that would make everything sound huge, even in the headphones, you know. I mean, a lot of engineers would come in and they'd go, oh, i got to record everything flat, you know. Don't worry about what it sounds like. Headphones, I'll make it sound great later. Well, Todd was of the school that I'm going to make it sound that way right now. It's going to tape right now that way. You know, I'm not going to screw around with it later and have a whole different sound. You guys are going to hear the way it's going to sound on the record in your headphones. And, and that was new to us. Uh, and it just like blew us away that you know we're we're hearing these great sounds in the headphones as we're playing. Hmm. So when you're doing a song like in your early days, closer to home, it's going to get pieced together like Frankenstein by the time it's done. Well, not really pieced together. The the arrangement was the arrangement. It's just that the sounds weren't the same. You know, they would take a guitar and rather than let let the guitar be all distorted and crazy sounding. It would have to be clean, you know, or the drum sound would have to be clean instead of uh, heavily EQ'd, you know, because they were afraid that if they did the EQ now to tape, then they couldn't have that option later. So, you know, Todd didn't care. He would just make it sound the way he wanted to right up front, put it on tape that way, and that's the way it was going to be, uh, which was wonderful, you know, because then you could hear it in the context of what, it, what the final outcome was going to be. It, it wasn't a matter of piecing anything together. Those songs were always arranged and done. Uh, in their entirety, you know, I mean, back then we used to do an album in a week, you know, so uh, you didn't have a lot of time for splicing and editing and, you know, changing arrangements after you got, got it done. It was done in a week and it was done with mistakes or without, you know, whatever, whatever happened.